Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel server again. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and first of all I would like to say thanks to all for your support and your love and in particular your enthusiasm towards learning as we have reached to 650 subscribers. Thank you very much for that and those people who are viewing it and yet not have subscribed to my channel so please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos okay so now today we are going to discuss about em once again em so what is em it means yellow dog update modifier which is used to manage and install packages on red hat enterprise linux operating system or this is used for send os as well fine because this is package manager so what do we see here is for example we see that we need to install some packages so we can run the yum list command as we learned last in last video if we have yet not watched that so no no worries no worries i will definitely share the link of that video within description box okay so yum list is the command which tells like how many packages are available on this particular server for example i want to look for php fine let me grab here grab php so it will let me know that which php version is available here so by default if i see so php 5.4.16 is available and most of organizations are not using it as of now so most preferable is 5.6 or 5.7 so how do i install that so for installing that particular i will have to go to internet for sure and i will have to find out here epel e p e l e p l for php and uh, maybe 5.6 or 7 whatever you like fine so you will have to see that what php versions all are available and all so you will have to go there then after you will have to find out that what particular repository is enabled for your package installation so see as you can see here that to install php 5.6 you have to install epel or rami repositories rami or epel these were both are repositories which are providing you php packages for centos 7 centos or red hat both are equivalent it means all the packages which can be installed on your particular one operating system whether that is red hat or whether that is sent os so that can be installed on another as well so now what we need to do is we need to run yum, uh, we need to run command yum install and after that we need to paste the particular link fine so we have pasted the link it will download the package and it will install it fine so package has been installed so now once again if i run the command yum list grab php so this particular will let me know that whether the package is available or not here so see there is there is some problem with this link because the particular package which i have downloaded so that is not allowing me to list all the packages so see there is something obviously advanced available here from epel and if we want to check only php so earlier there were only couple of packages maybe six or seven packages were earlier but right now if we see so there are so many packages available and obviously if we need to check we need we need to run uh, just wipe and less here as we will be able to see package one by one so see you can see here that php 5.4 is available in the same manner if you if you check about epel so epel must be providing some other version of php so let us find it out here that which version of php is available so you will have to be sure before installing your php that what exact version of php you are looking for fine so let us try to run one more command here which says that we need at least 5.6 we have 5.6 if something is available related to 5.6 so it will print here otherwise we will have to look for some other option which is in php it means php 5.6 is not available within this particular repository so what we need to do is the particular package we, which we installed we will have to check and we will have to remove that so either we can run this command yum list installed pipe grab epel if we run this command so either we can remove this particular by doing this or we can do yum history 
we can run this command and as this says that this particular system was installed just before a moment cloud user ec2 user and this command so we can do yum history undo and after that we can paste the number of this one it means four so it will remove that particular package which we have installed it means we have to go for another package so that will be your trick that how soon you can find out your particular required package list and after that you shall be able to find out only those packages which are required see so right now epal has gone away so this is the way like you can configure epal on your operating system if you want to find out that what other op repositories are available so you can go for here remy if we try to run this command here obviously if we run this command so it means this command will install enterprise for remy it means earlier we were installing epel wherein if we talk about this so this is going to install remy it means remy is other source of php packages which can provide you all the required softwares which are available with this one so this requires epel 7 it means first of all we will have to install, install this particular package for uh, running that that particular command so we are going to install once again epel because this is the dependency and if we skip this because there is one option hyphen f1 skip 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 hyphen broken so this will install but maybe this can create some problem hyphen hyphen i'm sorry minus minus skip minus broken so that is saying once again that is, that that is a dependency of this package so we will have to install this that so let us install and after that let us be ready for the second package as well because e remy is dependent package of that is complete depending on epel because if epel is available only then remy will work so let us try to install this package see once the dependency is gone away so that is being installed here fine so now let us try to find out whether the package which was for php whether that is available here or not let us find out that some other packages are available on system or not yes so now remy safe is also available here so now let us try to figure out whether php 5.6 is available or not Rem grab 5.6 See, PHP 5.6 is available here. So, if you want to install this package, so you can easily install using yum install, and after that, you can run this command, and that is it. It will ask you for obviously your uh, confirmation whether you want to install it or not, and after that, your PHP is available here. In fact, your PHP 5.6 is available. It is asking me whether this is not. Uh, that gpg key are not available for this so it is asking me for that and this will install your all the packages whichever is required with all the dependencies fine so guys this is how you can work with your uh, repository and this is how you can install your uh, epal on your linux operating system there is one more command if you want to check you can add repository using one more way that is yum hyphen config hyphen c o n f i you config hyphen manager then after hyphen hyphen add hyphen repo and after that link url of your repo url of your repo means let me show you as we already know there is a file atc m dot repos dot d and if we list here so these are particular repositories which are enabled here so if if i open any file cat and then e p e l e p l dot, dot repo if i run here so there are multiple urls some are commented and some are uncommented here fine so if you want that uh, your particular this repository should be enabled so you can run in such a fashion that command which i was trying to show you yum config manager okay let me write here again yum hyphen config hyphen manager hyphen hyphen add hyphen repo equals to then after the link which we have copied and the link means uh, maybe for demo i'm going to give only this one i don't know whether this is going to work out or not because i have yet not tested this just a moment let me paste it here. yes that's it 
that is added adding repo to this is this epl rpms and that is added finally well, there is one more way if you want to disable it so either you can remove hyphen repo either you can run the command and uh, you can replace add with remove or what you can do is you can go to slash etc yum dot repos dot d epl dot repo go here okay vim command is not found so let us work with vi only okay so what you can do is all the places wherever enable is written here just make it zero and that will disable your repository like as other links are already zero it means only this one was enabled so that's what we have disabled it fine so this is how guys you can work with your epl on rhl operating system this is how you can install those packages as well which are not in available within your repository and you can enable third party repositories on your operating system one more file is here which is quite important for you which is yum.com etc slash etc slash yum.com this is quite important file which you should know at least that how to work with this so this says that uh, cache dir if you want to run command yum clean all then all the files and all the data which is downloaded by yum so that is kept here for example if you are downloading such a file which is maybe of 2 mb 10 mb maybe of 2 gb single file which is and you want to check that how much data has been downloaded so you can go to this, this location let me show you here cd slash where cache yum list here x86 list here r7 server list here epl list here so these are the particular package which are recently downloaded and packages if you go here you will not find anything reason being once package is downloaded and that is installed so yum automatically removes all the files from this location but if you want to check for example in the runtime that how much data is being downloaded so you can come here and you can check it out fine so let us go to the directory of that file once again vi slash etc and yum.com okay so keep cache it means cache will not be kept here debug label 2 log file if you want to check logs then after uh, extract architecture obviously it will let you know absolute latest gpg check enabled plugins enabled install only limit 3 it means it will not go beyond that particular time limit that when your repository goes time out so that will not uh, try so many okay so if you want to check further then you can check the man pages of yum.com let me show you once again man and then yum.com if you want to read for more about this particular then you can read and you will find out a lot of data information about this particular fine so that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again keep watching thank you very much